Welcome, everyone, for today's show and tell. Satisfactory. Um, a pretty cool game, for the most part. It is uh, early development. Um, I believe the latest version is version 3, update 3. Um, it's a w wonderful game. It's a game where you manufacture anything, pretty much, on this uh, rogue planet. You have these resources that you have to build out, such as factories and produce um, you know a whole bunch of stuff um, so currently what I'm trying to figure out is how to play this game you know I did a few things in the game but so far I'm doing some mining I'm currently mining for some copper ore and you can see that you know there's all different types of um, mining that it could be done you could actually create biomass for fuel um, the iron plate is pretty much designed by iron um, deposits, which I have in my inventory. You could create concrete from limestone and so forth. So while this is actually drilling, I'll take a, I'll show you a quick look of my satisfactory base. It's still in the beginning stages, but i um, trying to figure out what I need to do next. Let me run up here real quick. All right, here is my factory layout. Of course, I'm starting to make it a little bit nicer. I got my floor tiles. Check out that sunset, that's pretty cool. Love the little effect there. Um, yeah, of course, I have some mess over here, but it's my factory floor. This is my hub, hub. This is like the, the, the home hub where you um, s use to expand your base. I'll show you what it looks like. You got a couple consoles here. This is where you actually craft. This is like the bench you would use in Minecraft. Uh, you put in a, um, like for instance, limestone here. Or, I'm sorry, you pick the what you want to convert. So say you want to create concrete. Um, concrete is made from limestone. And you can see my limestone, I have 201. And you could do three at a time. So you just hold the craft button. It'll start automatically producing your uh, concrete. You can see the concrete mix going up. So um, the goal is to automate your 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 factories, and right now there might be some manual intervention. Uh, this is where you actually start upgrading your your hub. You have all these research milestones that you can choose. There's you know all different tiers. I assume it goes up to the highest tier, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tier, and you could expand your base even further. Um, currently, I'm on tier two. I'm actually working on a field research. This field research allows me to increase inventory slots, create a personal storage box. You got a beacon here um, that you could use for who knows what. Um, object scanner, you could probably scan objects a little bit better. It gives you a little more in-depth information. And I don't know what this is. And I don't know, maybe I could have another thing in my hand. I could hold two items instead of one. Who knows, right? Okay. so. Let's get on to what we have so far. Now, some things take power, some things don't take power. Like the conveyor belts that move don't take power. They don't need power. This is a smelter. What this does, this converts iron ore into iron ignit, ig, ingot, ingot. And from there, you could actually convert barrels, plates, and whatever metal um, conversion you want to create from this piece on on out so now you could see that this is like a storage container here this is storing all my um, iron ore minerals that are being dug up all the way you could even see over here I had to walk all the way down there to build my other factories um, such as my mining facility with power and you can see it's a long belt conveyor belt that's just bringing all my mining minerals to a warehouse, a little storage depot. Then, you know, it goes from here, it goes to my smelter. And once it goes into the iron ignot, it got, it goes into another storage. So I'll have abundance of that. And I also have another storage unit for limestone. So you can see all my limestone is collecting. I assume once it goes to the max, can't store anymore unless you uh, start moving it out and converting it to concrete or another another conversion. 
So what I want to do is make sure I have enough biomass feel um, that is in my limestone facility. I'll just run over there real quick. There's a power. Once the power goes out, everything, everything shuts down, and it requires biomass. So here is my power generator. Oh, I got 40 units left, 39. So I'm gonna give it a little bit more of a boost of biomass. 200. Okay. That thing is looking pretty good. The mining facility. Pretty cool, All right? This is an awesome game. Now, who knew? Who knew uh, a game of cream um, factories is is fun? I mean, it's pretty entertaining. Just just because it's something different, you know, it's not one of those shoot 'em up games. Pretty relaxing game. Now, you do have creatures that might come and attack you, but I have this little weapon here. I could just go ahead and grab them and just kill them, electrocute them with my little taser gun. But so far, we're good. Um, now let's check out what we have here. This is, it comes with two power generators on my hub, home hub, but let's see how much biomass we have left. Oh, we got plenty. Let's make sure we have enough biomass and you can grab um, these leaves and convert them to biomass back at your home hub. Now these big ass creatures, um, they're scary looking, but they won't attack you. I don't know what those are. Is he on like on the conveyor belt? That is so weird. Like this, this is gliding over there. Well, remember, this is early development, so that could be a bug. I don't see his feet moving. He's just gliding. How's that possible? Pretty weird. All right, let's check out our feel. 130. Let's skip a little bit more. All right, we don't have any more else to give it to. This is actually leaves I got to convert. And you could use leaves as a generator, um, as a fuel source, but it goes through it pretty quickly. So it's best to convert that to the pr proper fuel source. This is my mining for my, um, my iron ore. That is pretty cool how this thing is uh, designed. All this massive drill head like going into the ground. Incredible. One incredible game. Now I could actually climb up here if I wanted to. Go to the top. Like a lookout tower. That is so wicked. Alright, let's go back home. Now what we want to do here, we want to upgrade our home hub and finish our milestone. So we're going to go and do that right now. Now this is the early stages of the game. Now of course some of you guys probably seen somewhere where you see a massive factory laid out. Um, I'm not even close to that yet. Of course I don't have that much time to spend in, in this game but it's just more of a quick show and tell to show you what this game is all about. What do we need? Um, we need copper. We got enough nails and we got enough plates, iron plate. So we need copper. Okay. Alright, yeah, ore that's not enough. So copper is you need copper ore to convert it to a wire. But we gotta go back to our drill that was that our little automated drill that's drilling for copper. I think it's over here. Uh, 
does that drill? Uh oh, we got a little creature here. Got two of them here. Let's just break this. Oh, this is, isn't what we're looking for. We gotta go find the, uh, the copper. I think it was somewhere else. Guy okay, chasing me. Got him. Yeah, he's dead. They leave this little alien crap. I don't know what this is, but I'm gonna take it anyway. I don't know what to do with it. Get some leaves here. Some resources here. I think it's over here. I'm mistaken. You could easily get lost over here. Oh, it's right down here. This is where my my copper's at. Alright, how are we doing here? Oh, go cool. let's just grab. Alright, I think we got enough. Let's let it continue and just convert what we have so far. Then what we want to do afterwards is automate the um, the copper mining process. What is that up there? Now what I should have done is later on, once I make it a little bit more efficient, I'm going to create more tiles, further extend the factory um, foundation, and probably put these on top of the uh, uh, the new foundation once I get that organized. All right, so we need to convert the wire. Well, first we need to create copper ingots. Then once we convert the copper ingots. create some wire. You can see the number of the wire goes up, allowing you to know that you could actually create this many wire units. It's all based on how many copper you produce. Yeah, it's a painful process, but you know, got to do it first before you start automating things. We will automate it shortly. All right, I think that's enough. Let's go through them all. All right, let's create some wire here. All right, what do we need here? Oh wow, we need more, much more wire. Need 300. Yikes, all right, let's just pretty keep producing.
All right, let's uh, make some wire. I think we did. All right, yeah, let's see how many we have. Okay, once you meet a milestone, you click this little red button, and what it does, it launches this little rocket platform to upgrade your base further, and you have, a, and you have to wait a few minutes. It goes to space, it grabs resources or attachments or add-ons, and it brings it back to your home hub. Kind of interesting how this game works. It just seems like you have a space station of some type um, orbiting the planet. The object scanner requires calibration via the MAM to enable detection of specific objects. Alright, it will appear in 2 minutes and 20 seconds. While it's doing so, um, let's convert some biomass. Let's have it on hand. Um, if we do a mining at the uh, copper, got one of those. Okay, what do we have here? Alright, this is what we're going to do here. We're going to build... Oh wow, it's coming back again. Where is it at? Oh, there it is. That is so cool. Let's see how much we need some concrete now, guys, because we're going to go ahead and automate the copper ore process. We need a conveyor belt. Now, conveyor belts are made by iron plates. We've got to make a f quite a few of those. Okay, I think we're good here, and uh, let's go and let's get some some ignits. Please. Probably want maybe a hundred and fifty of them, I'm thinking. That will allow us to build the conveyor belt 
system um, all the way back near our home base, our home hub. Go ahead and automate this thing. I think it's over here. Miner, uh, use a scroll bar to rotate it. Okay. Um, we're gonna be going up the hill here. I think that's good. I want to put the power system probably over here. I'm thinking. Okay, I wanna let's get the conveyor belt system working here. in that right way? Where is it at? Going across this boulder here? There, let's... I don't like the way it looks here. We will redo it. Not happy with that. Alright, let's try it again, guys. We didn't do a good job. Good. Going through this. don't like it at all. Let's redo it. There. Uh, let's try this again. Yeah, I think it needs to go on a nice little path over here. I think it should have been raised higher. How do you raise this thing higher? It's like going in the freaking ground here. It's not going to work at all. Alright, we're going to have to try something different here. Let's get up here. Alright, that's better. That looks nicer. Make sure it's not going to go in any any bushes. All 
All right, then what we're gonna do here, we're gonna create a storage facility. system okay looks good and we're gonna do the uh, smelting this will convert the um, um, minerals the ore into a finished product all right let's do that And from the finished product, we're going to go ahead and put it in the warehouse. So let's create the uh, um, storage container. You're probably wondering why not just create one after it converts it, but sometimes um, you need uh, resources just as a backup, even if you uh, max out. So it's always good to have two supplies of the of the source and the converted um, ignits in case you run out of storage or um, the final product at least you can actually man manually convert that you at least have uh, additional supply so I have to do both all right it's done now let's connect the power and we're ready to go this conveyor belt looks so cool All right, power is Well, I can't afford the power now, guys. Oh, I need power cable. Wow. All right. We need some power cable. Oh wow, I'm gonna walk this far. I need like some a jet pack. That's what I really need. Alright, so I need to go here. I need like 25 units of the of the black cable. So you have to convert it from uh, you know the different stages of when you craft items. So it's copper, it's the wire, and now it's the cable. So once we have enough copper, then we can actually do the cable. That takes two units per one. Okay, I think we're good now. Get down there and just get it together. All right, power line. Boom. Okay, it's the black wire. It's connected. Now let's turn on and add some fuel from my biomass generator. Um, let's put the fuel here. Now it's going to start working. Check it out. It's going to start drilling. The process is pretty cool. There we go, guys. Get the copper ore coming out. That, e that easy. That's all you have to do. You need a power source. You need a miner facility, and that's it. Um, now, of course, making it more efficient, that's something different. 
you know, you probably would like to have all your central power system probably on the platform by the hub and run a wire down here so you don't have to go back and forth and manage all the power stations but for right now I'm trying to gather resources I'm trying to harvest first and then we could do some additional efficiency um, work afterwards so that's good for now so once the ore the copper ore gets here we need to do one quick thing is the smelter we gotta tell to convert it to copper ignit. That's it. We're done. Oh, this requires power too. So forgot about that. So what we need to do here is we have to run power from here. I just totally forgot. Look at that. All right, let's just let's see what we could do. Let's get the power cable here. We need copper. Oh man, yeah, we're out of wires. What do we have in our inventory? We got some power. Oh, we could convert some right now. We need to get some copper going. All right, I think that's good. Now let's create some wire units. Now this is what you have to do to start automating everything. You have to do some manual intervention. Once you get this done, you get all the re your initial resources, then you can automate those three main sources, which is the copper, the iron, and the limestone. Then you could start building from there, and it would be a little bit easier. Um, then you're probably going to do additional crafting later on. Um, you'll probably learn some additional technologies to do even further. <sighs> All right. Um, let's see what we can do here. Let's create some power. for right now that we could work on that later. Wow, that's pretty cool. I could create a power line that far. Impressive. Wow. That far. Wow. Pretty cool. Alright, let's go from here to here. Alright. Tap some mass into it. Dangerous little power line. If I touch it, do I get like shocked? I guess not. All right, let's add some biomass. Do we have any? Is the question. Um, no, we don't have any. We just, you know, got it started briefly, but we're going to run out of fuel in no time. Ah, we need some biomass.
I think we got plenty. How's it doing? Oh wow. Okay, we got some in the storage here. Huh? Going 30 per minute. Not bad. Not bad at all. Look at that. Pretty cool. I think we're good here. Pop some fuel in here. Alright, how's this one doing here? I give it a little bit more. Alright, it's looking good. Look at this. We got it automated. This is what it takes. Wow, well, check that out. We're almost maxed out here. Yeah, we want to max out everything here. Wow. That is so cool. Now, let's save it so we don't... Oh, I want to load. I want to save. Um, intro 3. Okay, I think this is it. I showed you the basics of how to mine and gather your initial resources so you can start expanding your, your, um, you know, your factory, your home, home base. Um, of course, it's going to take a lot more work than what you can see. Um, the more time you put into it, the more energy you'll get. Much better at it, and it's a fun, fun, relaxing game. I mean, I give it a ten out of ten. All right, you guys have a good one. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, and also if you want to see additional videos in the future, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys.